So in this video I'll be showing you how to add stars to your photo. So I've got both of the pictures here and I'll leave links for them in the description. I'm hiding the stars picture for now and I'm clicking on the mountain picture. Then I'm going to the selections persona and I'm using the smart selection brush tool. I've got the mode on add and snap to edges turned on and I'm making a selection over the sky. Then I'm going back to the stars photo and I'm making sure I've clicked on that layer. Then I'm clicking on the plus sign at the top and I'm adding a mask layer and then deselect. I'm then changing the blend mode to screen and just to make sure there are no stars overlapping the mountain I'm clicking on the mask layer, I'm going back to the photos persona and I'm using the paintbrush tool with the colour on black. I've got the hardness on 0 and the opacity on 15. I'm using quite a small brush and I'm just painting along the edges of the mountains. And if you want the stars to be brighter, make sure you're on the stars layer and then you can duplicate it. And if it's too much, you can adjust the opacity. But right now the sky is a bit too bright in comparison to the mountains. So to darken the sky to match, I'm going to add a levels adjustment. But because I only want it to affect the sky, I'm going to drag that layer onto the stars photo. And then I'm dragging the black slider over to the right, which will increase the shadows in the photo. And then to get all the colours in the picture to match, you can add a lens filter adjustment. And this is used to tint the colour of the image. So I'm dragging that adjustment to the top of the layers so it affects the whole image. And then I can change the colour, which will change the tint. So if I move around the colour wheel, you can see the tint of the whole picture change. So you can just leave it on whatever colour you prefer, but because I want the colour of the mountains to match the sky, I'm going to change the colour to blue by using the colour picker tool to select the exact colour that I want. And finally you can adjust the optical density and this controls how much of the tint is blended into the image. So if I bring that up, you can see the warmth on the mountains has gone and it just matches better with the sky.